Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Cooking with TK. That's right. Today we are going to make some delicious soul food. I'm going to show you guys how I made this delicious meatloaf, macaroni and cheese, and some delicious turnip greens with some turkey meat in it. If you guys would like to join me on this cooking adventure, then let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, you guys, so the first thing I do is I boil my turkey legs, turkey drumettes. I have them in a pot of water, and I'm going to bring them to a boil. But first, I'm going to add some seasoning to these turkey drumettes. Remember, you can use turkey wings, turkey necks, whatever you desire for your boiling meat. I am going to add in some garlic cloves, some Sazon seasoning. I'm just going to add some seasoning to season up the meat um, as it boils to make a soothing, delicious taste of broth. That's poultry seasoning. And as far as the seasonings are concerned, I am only going to use about a tablespoon and a half of each seasoning. We're going to add in some black pepper. Um, as well, now with the black pepper, I do add in two tablespoons. I'm going to add in some celery salt. And with the celery salt, it does help bring out some of that delicious flavor in the broth. I'm going to add in some complete seasoning by Badia. Now, as you can see, I did not add any salts. I did add accent. I didn't add any salt because the complete seasoning by Badia, as well as the celery salt and the Sazon has salt in it. So we don't need to add any more salt. And here I'm going to add in some chicken, better than bouillon um, flavor. And it helps bring out that flavor completely. So if you have any type of um, chicken bouillon, go ahead and add that. We're going to allow these turkey legs to boil for over an hour until the meat falls off. Next, let's go ahead and let's get started on our greens. I have pre-washed my greens. And here I am going to cut my greens. I do take the leaves and I cut them at the end so that I can cut that stem off. Because remember, the stem... Um, doesn't cook at the same rate as the leaves so therefore it would be hard to um, go ahead and you know cook the stems along with the leaves and some people don't like that anyway so go ahead and roll your leaves here I have three rolled together and I'm using my serrated knife it's a little easier to cut my turnips because this is what I have turnip greens yes right greens and turkey meat mm -mm 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 some good southern eating how many of you guys like to use turkey meat? now as you can see you're going to get um good even size um rolls of layers of the greens if you find a piece of your collard green that has a stain on it um just go ahead and take that rotten piece off now while my meat is boiling i'm going to go ahead and boil my macaroni noodles and now I'm gonna go ahead and put my greens in, okay, into my turkey meat as it's boiling. As you can see, that juice has turned color. That's also from the turkey meat and from the seasoning. Now, some people, they do like to add a little oil or butter, I don't. Okay, so now we have our greens going in. Our turnip greens, that's right, some delicious, turnip greens now once we get all of our greens in just try to push them down some because i am gonna add some more um delicious tasting veggies to these greens go ahead and mix it in with that meat because you want to get all that delicious flavor in there like i'm doing here okay so after you get all of your greens into your pot and push down Let's go ahead and let's get started adding our other veggies. We are going to add into this some chopped onions. Mm, 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 you guys just don't know. Chopped onions, some sweet peppers, some green, orange, and yellow, and some 
um, regular bell pepper and some green onions as well. So those are the extra veggies that I'm adding in with my greens. You guys, when I tell you add these extra veggies, mm, 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 mm. yes, it makes it pop. It is so delicious. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add some more seasonings, just a small amount, not too much. You don't want to overpower it, and you don't want it to be over seasoned, so put just a small amount of seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, some black pepper, um, just a little Creole seasoning, okay? Not too much and not too little. And once you add your seasoning in, you guys, um, make sure, like I stated, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And you're going to add in about two teaspoons of brown sugar, okay? Or just a teaspoon of regular sugar. Um, the brown sugar and the regular sugar, the little taste, um, the little teaspoons will help cut the edge on, and bitterness when you are making some delicious Southern style greens. So mix that together, you guys. And now we're going to allow this to boil for another 45 minutes. So now here we go, you guys. Let's get into our meatloaf. Here I have um, two pounds of ground beef and I have two pounds of ground sausage, okay? I have some green bell peppers, some green onions, and some onions. I grated the onions very small because I know some people, when they, they don't like to bite down on onions. I should have done the same things with my bell pepper. But to me, I like the taste of onion and bell pepper. Now, here I have just some regular basic seasonings. Salt, black pepper. Um, we're going to add in some breadcrumbs, as you can see here. We're going to add in about two cups of breadcrumbs, okay, you guys, because I have four pounds of meat. Um, you can use light bread if you would like. I'm going to crack up with some eggs. If you want to pre-beat your eggs for your meatloaf, you can. I'm going to add in three eggs because I have four pounds of meat, not two. Okay. I'm going to use the Hunt's can um, sauce for meatloaf. It's very tasty. It's savory and it has se seasoning already in it. So you don't have to add too much of seasoning to your meatloaf mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together, you guys. And then I'm going to get ready to make my meatloaf. Okay, so here I have formed my meatloaf into the shape of meatloaf. And four pounds equals two meatloaves with the sausage and the hamburger meat. That's a lot, you guys. More than I anticipated. But it's okay, it's more than enough for my family. Um, it's enough for today and enough for tomorrow. Now, if you have a loaf pan and you want to bake your meatloaf in your loaf pan, then that is perfectly fine. You can bake it in a loaf pan. Um, but I only have one loaf pan, so I just formed the loaves myself. And we're going to bake, bake this at 375 for one hour, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my macaroni and cheese. I have strained my noodles. Here I have some seasoning, some chicken bouillon, paprika, black pepper, a teaspoon of sugar, not brown sugar, regular sugar. Um, also, I have over here some Italian cheeses. That's mozzarella cheese. And this is some cheese blends, Kobe Jack cheese, mozzarella cheese, and some Velveeta cheese. And I have two eggs beaten and some milk. And I'm going to combine everything together and this is what we're going to use to make some macaroni and cheese, okay? I have more mozzarella cheese than regular cheese, but the macaroni and cheese still is delicious. Oh, and I also am using some cream cheese to help make it creamy. Um, once you add the milk, everything melts together inside. Um, the mozzarella cheese is I put it on top because... This is what I had in my fridge. I wasn't going to go out and buy anything extra, you guys. So that's my daughter, Maya, adding the cheese. And the skillet that I'm using is a Christy Teagun skillet, a cast iron skillet. We're going to bake the macaroni chief about 45 minutes to an hour as well. Okay, so let's make our topping for our meatloaf. We are going to use the same can of Hunt's meatloaf sauce. 
I'm going to use this tomato paste, basil, garlic, and oregano. Um, you can use regular tomato paste. I just grabbed what I had in the cabinet. And this tomato paste has flavor already, so therefore I don't have to add too, too much of seasoning. I'm going to add some black pepper and some um, Creole seasoning, and that's it. Um, or you guys could just use some black, basic black pepper and salt. And also we're going to add some brown sugar to this. And this is what we're going to use to make our meatloaf topping. I'm going to combine everything together here in this bowl. So now our meatloaf has cooked for about 45 to 50 minutes. I pulled it out and I'm adding that meatloaf topping, the tomato base meatloaf topping. Now remember you guys, if you don't like the tomato base, you can use um, a barbecue base meatloaf topping. That is up to you, but I'm just showing you how I made this delicious meatloaf and the topping was simple and it was easy and very delicious. So now let's pop it back in the oven and it is out after cooking completely for about an hour and 10 minutes. Um, if you guys want the glaze to be a little bit crispier, you can leave it under the broil for just a little bit longer. But this is our meatloaf. Um, I allowed the meatloaf to sit before I cut it. I allowed it to sit for 10 minutes. Here we have it, you guys. Some delicious southern soul food dinner. Um, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, and some turnip greens. I hope you guys have enjoyed what I made today on Cooking with TK. Um, this dish was fantastic and delicious. I just want to share you guys this soul food meal for this Sunday. A meal idea for any day of the week that you can cook for your family. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, leave lots of comments down below. And stay tuned to my channel for another video.